What is up guys, Antonio Azilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today is going to be an update on my repaint. So um, if y'all remember the T-Rex and Allosaurus repaint video, the two Basher and Biter Jurassic World things, well, this is the same Allosaurus, except it's a repaint of my repaint. So, yeah. So just for comparison, this is what it looks like when it came straight out of the box. I know, it's terrible. And this was my attempt at repainting it. Like, as you can see, I mean, I like the con- I really liked the concept that I did with, um, like, making, the, like, green on the head. But as you can see, there's tons of paint chipping and bare spots, like, around the arm, the arm joint. It's just, it wasn't really that well done. <laughs> Here's what it looks like close up. As you can see, I painted the eye very carefully. I even put like a little bit of white in there to give it sort of a sparkle, kind of like reflective sort of effect. I also did it with the other eye. I did it better on this eye than the other eye, but yeah. Um, and I also painted the dino damage, and I put a little bit of red on like on the sides, like out of like where the wound would actually be, so it actually looks like it's bleeding and like the blood's dripping and everything. Uh, sadly, there's a little bit of paint chipping right here. But that's kind of ignorable. So, um, I didn't really do much with the mouth. I, sh I think I should have. But, yeah, you can see some of the paint. I never noticed, but some of the paint, like, leaked into the mouth. Which kind of sucks. And the cool thing about this toy is that, um, when, uh, you, like, make it face up. And then you put it up, like, put it in this position. And you, like, lift the neck up. It'll actually stay where, it, like, stay right there. It used to not be able to do that. I think it's because the paint, like, it kind of makes it, creates more friction. So then when you, like, push the neck up, like it, like this, it kind of just stays there. Which is really cool. Oh my gosh, what was that? Anyways, that was, it, that was a pretty cool thing I just noticed. Moving on from the Allosaurus, I just quickly repainted the the dino damage onto my T-Rex right there. Th this, I didn't repaint anything but the dino damage. So um, if you remember from my video, my repaint video, it used to be bare. See, right there, it's, it's just, I forgot to paint it over, so it was just brown. One thing I also did was I filled in the screw hole issue with clay, because once there were like bare screw holes, like they're, they're very visible and very annoying. So I, as you can kind of see it right here, I filled it in with clay, same with right here, and right here. There's also one under the leg that I forgot to paint. Imagine this, but it's all over the dinosaur on one side of the whole dinosaur. It just looks very dumb. But as long as this one is covered, it looks really good. I think I did a pretty good job. So, uh, ah. I hope you enjoyed my uh, short little video about my repaints. And uh, if you are interested in my channel and my, if you are interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you share, subscribe, and you know what, whatever else you'd want to do. So.